Welcome back to Explore Aviation, where we dive into the fascinating world of aviation. Have you ever been on a flight, excited to land, and suddenly the plane starts circling the airport? What's going on? Why can't the pilot just land already? Well, today we're going to uncover the mystery behind why planes sometimes circle before landing. Let's jump right in. First, let's understand what's happening here. When a plane circles before landing, it's usually following a flight procedure known as a holding pattern. A holding pattern is essentially a predetermined path that planes follow when they need to delay their landing. But why would they need to delay? Well, there are a few reasons. One of the most common reasons is traffic congestion in the air. Just like cars on a highway, airplanes need to wait their turn. Major airports can have dozens of planes arriving and departing simultaneously. To manage this safely, air traffic controllers may ask planes to enter a holding pattern until the runway is clear for them to land. This is especially common during peak travel times or bad weather, when airports are operating at their maximum capacity. The holding pattern keeps the skies organized and ensures that every plane lands safely without disrupting the flow of other air traffic. Another big factor is the weather. Pilots need good visibility to land safely, especially if they're landing manually. If the weather suddenly deteriorates, like if a fog rolls in or heavy rain starts, the plane may need to circle while waiting for conditions to improve. In some cases, the plane might even be waiting for a runway to be cleared of snow or ice. While the delay can be frustrating for passengers, safety is always the priority. Interestingly, holding patterns are also designed with fuel efficiency in mind. Planes are equipped to handle these delays, and pilots calculate fuel reserves to include potential hold times. That said, if a plane's been circling for too long, the crew might have to divert to a nearby airport to refuel, especially if there's no clear indication of when they can land. This is a rare scenario, but it's an important part of why planes sometimes circle. Pilots are always thinking ahead to ensure they don't run into any critical fuel shortages. 4. Runway Availability Runway availability is another key reason for holding patterns. Sometimes a runway might be temporarily closed due to maintenance, an emergency, or even wildlife on the tarmac. In such cases, planes are instructed to hold until the runway is cleared and ready for safe landing. This is also why you might hear the pilot announce that there's a runway delay. They're waiting for the all clear from the ground crew or air traffic control. 5. Sequencing and spacing. Finally, holding patterns help with something called sequencing and spacing. Air traffic control needs to ensure that there's a safe distance between every plane in the air and on the runway. This spacing is crucial to avoid turbulence from the wake of the plane ahead, which can be dangerous during landing. By holding planes in the air, controllers can manage the timing and sequencing of each landing, ensuring that every aircraft touches down safely with the proper distance from others. So, the next time you're on a plane that's circling the airport, remember that it's all part of a well-orchestrated plan to keep everyone safe. Whether it's air traffic congestion, bad weather, or runway availability, holding patterns are an essential part of modern aviation. Ultimately, it's about ensuring that when you do land, it's smooth, safe, and on solid ground. And that's a process worth waiting for. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the fascinating world of aviation, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Safe travels and we'll see you in the next one.